I want to come to you, uh, John McGurk. We've seen what's happening in France. Um, they're talking about this alliance against the far right. But in Ireland, if you say the vote is there in Ireland, this far right vote is there, or harder right vote, whatever you want mm. to describe it, do they need to come together? Do they need to form an alliance? I think it would be healthy for democracy were the views of many people uh, that are strongly felt, which are not currently really represented inside the political system, had a home. I think it's really interesting, for example, that in Ballymun Finglas, which traditionally would have been Breed's territory or, or Lynn's territory, or more, more importantly, the territory of their parties, the, the parties and independent candidates who would universally be called, in inverted commas, far right, got 20% of the votes, one fifth, and a councillor elected there and very, came very close to getting a second councillor elected. Across the country, you saw independent candidates. Uh, who were very strongly involved in local immigration protests, for example, topping the poll time and time again. You have the example of the two candidates from Independent Ireland in, in Galway uh, who were basically tossed out of Fianna Fáil over their support for people during a, a, a local asylum row there during the, during the winter last. They both topped the poll and you know, the people like John Snell in Wicklow doing that. So I think there's very clearly um, a vote out there for people, but it's not just on, and it's often written down to this immigration issue, it's not just the immigration issue. One of the biggest issues over the next five years is going to be um, climate change and climate policy and this idea that there's a just transition and what's going to happen. I mean, we saw last week, for example, or during the campaign, the fact that the, the EPA targets are, of course, to be missed by 50%, which obviously the political establishment believes cannot happen. So there's going to be significant further cuts to Ireland's carbon emissions that are likely to impact farmers, small businesses, um, and, and frankly, the less well off. So there, there are a huge number of issues out there where okay. there are a lot of people who are staunchly opposed to the views of the political establishment. But they don't have, I suppose written. at the moment, what but they don't have as a leader. They don't have a leader. As, Would you be as, interested as, in that role? Uh, I have no interest whatsoever. It's at the moment of getting involved in politics. There are many, many capable people involved in politics.